got a confession to make. I've got a confession to make. Yeah, I've got a confession to make. Dear Dad, you left me when I was born. You didn't want to pay child support. Why the fuck you think that you can come knocking on my life and think that I'd open the door? Yeah, think that I'd open the door. You better get the fuck off my porch. I don't want you in my life anymore. I don't want you in my life anymore. Oh, so now you want to come and be my friend. I don't really know what is going through your mind when you try to hit me up on Facebook where you're tight. Like, I just want to say hi. I think I'm surprised. I heard you got a brand new life with a brand new house and a brand new wife and a brand new kid. Yeah, sounds about right. What would happen if they knew about me? I hope you die. I hope you're sick for the rest of your life. And I hope the one night when you go to sleep, someone breaks in, you get stabbed with a knife. And I hope I'm right. The reason I write, I'm here for the ride. And if God is real, then send me to hell. The way I can meet you and beat you on sight, like fuck you. I've got a confession to make. I've got a confession to make. I've got to get this shit off of my chest. Cause if I don't, then I feel like I'm gonna pray. You're not my man. You're not my man. You're a genius. Yo, what's up, guys? Yo, what's good, man? What is good? What's happening? Dude, there this is so cool talking with, like, three people at once. <laughs> <laughs> man, I, uh, I've i yeah. been working on music for the last, like, three hours because I got a studio session tomorrow. So. Oh, you're getting yeah. your shit cleaned up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, salute, man. So... Thanks for actually taking the time out to actually chat it up with us. We're going to have a nice little chat and chop session. We're going to have questions and all that good stuff. But uh, I'm going to start it off with, I'm John D, John D Contradiction. And other guys, introduce yourselves. It's Waco, bitch. And somebody's got a dryer running. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Orange. Without so the dryer. We got a, So we got us a special guest today. Please introduce yourself, sir. Ladies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and the dryer. My name is uh, well. I mean, my name's Nathan, but you know, I I go by NK47. That's uh, E N K A Y, not A K. Huge mix up for some reason. Don't, do don't mix up his name, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, don't he's not banned in airports <laughs> like the other one. I actually wanted to ask, how'd you how'd you get that name? Yo, man, so. That is a that is a very good question. Um, <laughs> to clear it up, I uh, I don't want to be a gun. <laughs> like, I don't know why people. You don't I mean, identify uh, as a yeah, firearm. Yeah, who would want to do that? <laughs> yeah, man, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, come on, dude. Like, give me a break. I uh, so my initials are NK Nathan Kawaguchi, um, and uh, I basically just spelled it out because I thought it was cool at the time, and. Uh, I added the four seven at the end because, like, I mean, the way I look at it is, uh, there's a lot of controversy surrounding guns. People are either for it or they're completely against it. Mm -hmm. I was fortunate enough to grow up in a town where it was pretty much split, so you could have your own opinion without being swayed one way or another. You know. Okay. Um, Florida, we understand. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <Same. laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about, and. Uh, Honestly, man, like I just love the controversy surrounding it. I uh, I like making people talk, and uh, what better way to do that than controversy? You know? Oh yeah, that's our that's our favorite sells. thing. That's our favorite thing. We like to start up some shit. You know, because Hell it makes yeah, a good man. debate. You know, if you can debate about it like a normal person, it makes it even better. You know, rather than the people who are just like absolutely one sided and like fuck it, I don't care. You know. But exactly, man. <laughs> okay, so I, I can rock with that. I I rock with that controversy, and it 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 has a nice ring to it. It sounds good to say, you know, it's not like something. It looks interesting too. And I bet it was Yo, easy you. to get your, uh, you know, you get your handles easily. I doubt there's, there's probably not a lot of handles that are writing it like that. So you're good to rock. Yeah, dude, there's no one else with that name. Thank God. So <laughs> you got that web domain, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. I got the web domain. Baby. No, so, so, so we're not going to have to buy it out from you. Oh. Yeah. You know, somebody's going to hit you up uh, like 10 years after you pop like, yo, so I have this web domain with your name. Do you want it? <laughs> no, Sorry. man. I'm going to be Cut like... Cut the check. Some... <laughs> yeah, exactly. This <laughs> shit better not bounce, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's dope. So, uh, so again, we appreciate you. You shared the review and all that and whatnot. And we um, we actually... We did... This is our, our second project of yours. We did that EP that dropped earlier. And um, 
I mean, we yeah, we had a good time. We enjoyed it. We 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 split it up. I think I did the EP, and then um, our dude Barrett, Our brother. Yeah, your <laughs> Woggle's brother. He did uh, this one, and he like he was like, "Yo, thanks for sending a good one my way," because like a lot of the shit we get is not good. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it, it hurts sometimes. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some of the stuff, it's just like, I hate to be that guy, but like, sometimes we get some stuff that's like, oh my God, like we, we, you know, no, sometimes. what do you mean you hate to be that guy? We are those guys. <laughs> we are. No, but I mean, like, since I, like when I like dish them out, like, hey, can somebody do this? It's like, I feel terrible. Like sometimes it's like, oh, it's, man. we always give the bad, the new reviewers, the, the real bad shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so, but we gave him, I was like, right, I'm going to give him something. I'm going to give him something that's pretty good. And he thanked me for it. So I was like, cool. I'm going to give him something that I was like, all right, I know this project's not going to be bad. So I was like, let me give him a good one. And it's an exclusive. He'll get it done when we need it done. And he did. And we, for all of us, we all enjoyed the project. We enjoyed it a lot, actually. So. I'm going to give you that salute to that. Even though you said you, you didn't like the seven, you wanted to get a little bit more. (laughs) Yo, dude, I'm always shooting for more, man. Like I think, uh, I mean, I'm only 21, so I can't really talk much about life or anything, but Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been pretty successful so far. I'm not going to parties and getting drunk every day. Like 99% of the people I went to high school with, you know, Mm -hmm. so it's like, I think, uh, I think it's the fact that like, I'm never really happy with my score. I'm not happy with second. I'm like, even if I get first, I'm like, shit, man, I only got first. There was only a thousand people in this contest. Yeah, but you're, it's not you're, enough. Trying to, you're just trying to strive for more like everybody else should. Mm-hmm. Exactly, man. Exactly. Yeah, we respect that, though, because, like, we can tell, like, just the, your quality alone is is very high up there. Like, your quality is clean. So that, that one shows you probably have some sort of OCD when it comes to stuff like that, but you care. You know what I'm saying? Like you truly care, yeah. and that's dope. Like that, as a listener, like it makes you feel good because then you're like, all right, he didn't half-ass me and throw out some fucking, you know, some bullshit-ass project. That, Ninety you know. percent of SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah, yo, thank you. I really appreciate it. Yo, that. salute, man. I could, we could tell, we could tell the passions in there. We could tell the qualities in there. We know you're practicing the fuck out of your stuff, and I honestly, to me, I'm impressed because like I follow your page. And I see you're always active. You're always, you know, you're going on you're, lives with people. You're like talking messaging to your people. fans, talking yeah. to people. So like the fact dope. that you have time to put in, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? Like you're doing your thing and like keep that up. Like that shit is dope. Like you have some diehard fans because of that. Like a lot of people don't do that, you know? So I respect that, man. I 100% respect that. So Thank you. Yeah, man. Oh, no doubt. So I wanted to go into, I'm going to jump right into this bad boy. I wanted to go into the process behind this. So I know you had a bit of a kind of like a chip on your shoulder with this. And it went through with like the, I guess I would like, I would say like the marketing with like the blue hair and the stuff like that. You, you really did it to prove a point. Like talk, let's talk about it a little bit. Yeah, man. So I, I've been getting a lot of heat because of the bear, which I can't even blame him, man. Like I looked in the mirror the morning afterwards and I was like, fuck Nathan, what did you do? <laughs> like, what's going on? At least, at least you knew, at least you knew you accepted your decision and you were just like, you know what? I'm going to move on from this. Yeah, exactly, man. And like, in my opinion, like I make really passionate music. I make music to prove a point. Like I'm not in it for the money. I'm not in it for the hoes. I'm not in it for any of that shit. You know what I mean? I'm just in it because I love the process. I love music and I love helping people with music. Mm -hmm. Um, However, there is another side to this debate called mumble rap and they do the exact opposite of what I dedicate my heart and soul into, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was listening to this, this fuck Takashi, I can say fuck on this, right? Oh, say whatever the fuck you want. Oh, sweet. Like you're not saying. Say whatever you fucking want. Live your best Dude. life. Thank God, man. I was doing. I said fuck in an interview a couple weeks ago, and the guy stopped. He's like, "Yo, you can't say that." And I was like, "Yeah, because oh, yeah, we sorry. found out that they get hit with a check if they curse on, the internet, <laughs> curse on, you know, the broadcast." So. Hell yeah, man. Yo, all right, let's do this shit then. It's uh. So I was listening to this guy, uh, Takashi 6 9 I'm sure you guys have heard of him. Oh, yeah. Of yeah, um, we know. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. <laughs> you guys know. Um, but I saw it, and I was like, man, this guy is low-key, like, the worst rapper in the world, but one of the fucking smartest marketers ever. in the fucking ever. Ever. He's, 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 the ever. he's the GOAT. Ever. He's the GOAT when it comes to the sponsor. The label I work with, um, RBC, they actually, Chief Keef is on their record label. So oh. I heard a lot I about that shit. For that. 
<laughs> so I heard a lot about that shit before it was even made public and shit. Mm. Um, and uh, it's all publicism, man. It's fucking genius. But uh, anyways, so I was like, man, like these people look corny as fuck. Man, we got Trippy Red over here. We got Takashi. We got Little Pump, but they're making millions. Mm. And I was like, oh yeah, they're raking in the dough. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> exactly, man. It's fucking ridiculous, dude. Oh yeah. It's all and, like, absolutely. People don't understand that. Exactly, man. But it's like there's thousands and thousands, as I'm sure you guys know, of underground artists that work their ass off for this that are, shit. Yeah, that are way better. Like, that, can yeah, wrap, can, that can wrap circles around these people while they're, like, sleeping. We understand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... dude. Like, I'm not even good at geometry, but they can wrap circles, squares, diagons, whatever <laughs> the fuck shapes there are, man. And, like, damn, like, it just pissed me off, dude, because – over here you just have to be really good at marketing you don't actually have to put anything into your crap to succeed mm. but no. yet they're succeeding more than fucking anybody else in this underground at this point man oh yeah and what uh, are you calling now the, the the secure your bag era that's all they're worried about they're oh, all yeah, only worried about getting the bag exactly, uh, exactly. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's like, the era of social media because all of the background stories aren't in the music anymore they're selling it in their persona we talked about this like two episodes yeah. ago Exactly. That's so because, you guys, yeah, they, yeah, they sell themselves, and they're through yeah. their social media, and their their music just is like a, a secondary piece of thing they make, like yeah. secondary piece of content. What's crazy is content a here. lot of it is, uh, it's like a cookie cutter storyline now. Like when you see it, it's you do something crazy, you get in the spotlight, you get reckless, you have a few candid fake videos of you doing some wild shit in public. And then all of a sudden when things get wild, you're out in your neighborhood handing out money and everybody's like, oh, he's a good good, good guy all of a sudden. And then they uh, chop exactly. it back and forth. It. Mistakes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it and goes uh, back and forth and people live by it. And then it makes people argue like, no, he's a good guy because he did this. Oh, no, but he sucks because he did this. But it's still. No, it doesn't yeah. work like that, though. Yeah. It's fucking, it's genius. Like, it's fucking yeah. stupid how we can be played like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Because we see it Soap so Soap operas and wrestling, dude. It's been, they've been doing it for years. Yeah, that, it's very fucking true. <laughs> That's so <laughs> Reality true. TV. Dude, The Rock was the bad guy for years. <laughs> for years right, before started, he became the most he is loved. The ba- he is the bad guy. <laughs> and then he became the most loved because of how much of an asshole he was. It it works. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's like a, Simon Cowell, man. Like, oh, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. Dude's a fucking um, beast. But just like Simon Cowell and like The Rock and shit, they're, they're stuck in that role. Like you see The Rock in a movie. He's never the character. He's in the movie. It's like, oh, it's The Rock. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> no matter what man, show Simon Cowell's on, he's Simon Cowell. Like, that's it. <laughs> but, yeah man it's ridiculous <laughs> but um, yeah like back to you know we, we there's a lot of tangents on here we're gonna let you know that but um so with the yeah. marketing we see you took that approach kind of like um you did it as like a stance so it's like yeah i can do this shit now people are looking at me but peep i'm rapping about some real shit like fuck with me you know what i'm saying yeah, that's pretty much exactly what it was. It's um, it's like I know I'm not gonna get the kind of numbers these guys are, or anywhere close, to be completely honest. But like, I think the fact that the underground can look and kind of see like, yo, this guy can rap better than I can, because you know everyone in the underground's a rapper, and mm. he also looks stupid as fuck. So I mean, it's it's, it's like, it's kind of <laughs> it's uh, my, trying to kind of every day. It two together a little bit, you know? Yeah. No, and it and it works. Honestly, it works. Like I, because I do see like you do you did get some backlash with it. You know what I'm saying? Which is it's a good exactly. thing. Like it got it did exactly what you wanted it to do. Controversial, exactly, dude. Yeah, and I respect like, that. Yeah. Shock marketing, dude. Exactly, <laughs> man. Like, and I can tell you, like I'm not gonna yeah, get into like, financial. Duff out an old lady. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> like I can tell you, man. Sorry. Like even since that happened, like sales engagement, it's been up over a hundred percent since I started this a few months ago, and that's insane. Because even before then, I was pulling a couple hundred thousand, a few hundred thousand on videos alone. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So it's definitely been working, man. Even if it's not the happiest of engagement. Yeah, but hey, shit, they're listening, right? Fuck exactly. it. That's what matters. You're just trying. Engagement's yeah. engagement. Yeah, if they like exactly, it, they stay. Man. If they don't like it, they say some shit and then they leave. And it is what it is. Exactly. <laughs> no, nah, but I fuck with that too. You probably start to see the people that hate just to hate. And they're probably even fans at the end of the day. But 
they're like, fuck it, he's interacting. I'm gonna say some shit, feel cool, and that's it. Yeah, man. As I you can't say, troll, lolo, lolo, lolo. So, behind this this project, man, I want to know. Besides, like that great marketing campaign, like what was your inspiration behind this project? Like, what got you in that mental, as, as Drake would say, album mode? Oh damn! Um, <laughs> to be honest, man, like I'm gonna say this candidly. I uh, I'm super young. I have no idea what's going on in my life half the time. Like, <laughs> I'm I'm older I mean, I'm and go- I feel the exact same way. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, it doesn't go away. No, nope. not um, for a second. Uh uh-uh. uh Shit, man. Well, to be honest, man, like, I'm sure you guys have seen this. I get a shit ton of Eminem comparisons, oh, NF yeah. comparisons, with Lowry. It goes on and on, dude. Mm. Um. So uh, that kind of tied into the blue hair thing. Like, you're not going to see NF or Whit Lowry or Eminem fucking have blue hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I don't know, man. Like, I just, as soon as I dyed my hair blue, I, like, that same day I started writing the song My Own Lane. And I was like, well, this is going to be a thing now. I should probably make an album about it. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Two months later. <laughs> yeah, there and there you go. You have an album. And it, it makes sense. Like, it, it plays with, like, a lot of the songs. Like, you got fucking, um, you, you got Fake Friends, which is my favorite track on here. You got Fake Friends. I could see people kind of turning on you for shit like that. Or the people that, you know what I'm saying? Or to see people, like, people see you doing good because of shit like that and them, like, kind of turning on you. And even though they pretend exactly. you were there and shit like that. But I, I get it. I get it. I Like, different, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of, a lot of things on here that you attach to that. So I, I can see the process of it, which makes it. It, it makes it a cohesive, like a real project. It's not like some strung together bullshit either, you know? Yeah, that's kind of, honestly, it's kind of how I felt about my uh, EP before that. So mm-hmm. I wanted to make this one cohesive. <laughs> I remember, I do remember in the EP, you do, you also mentioned like the, the comparisons and stuff, which I mean, it, it it's going to happen because that's, that's how people, that's it's, how people it's two associate sides of it. music now. It's like, yeah. hey, you you sound like this person, or yeah. you kind of have this person's vibe to you. You know? Yeah, it's that point too, because like yeah. hip hop's been around so long that like you just gotta start attaching anything. Forty to years anything. is not a long time, my friend. Bro, you weren't alive forty years. It's a long time. I don't give a shit. What, <laughs> that we're not the fucking. It wasn't supposed to be around when dinosaurs were around, bro. It was older than you. It's it's a long time. Fact. <laughs> but like, I get Gosh. it. Like people attach to it, and I do like. You do, you do have like a bit of um. You have like the taste for like that darker production, which I can see where people could pull the NF strings and stuff like that. Yeah, too, dude. Because, yeah. They, no, I totally similar. get the comparisons, man. Like mm. I, I can't even deny them half the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, but see, the good thing is, is you're. Those are good comparisons because, like, I'm a fan of NF, and I think his fucking quality is clean. Like his shit is top notch. So if you're in that bag, you're in that fucking bag of that like realm, clean. Yeah, that's, a, you know, yeah. that's a good bag to be in. That's a great bag to be in. Because fuck it. Like when he's not putting out music, then his fans is like, yo, what were you about to listen to? Fuck it. You take some of them fans. That's all you, you know? Dude, that is exactly what I'm doing, man. I'm getting me some NF fans. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Thank that, man. Nah, <laughs> but yeah, nah, I get it. I get it. So <laughs> outside of this project, I see you. Um, You don't really, I, I don't. I've checked, you know, I've gone through your catalog. I'm doing my due diligence, but um, you, you don't really do, you don't really feature too, too much. I see you have like, you had like Playboy on there who, um, I know you guys do like the underground, uh, was it, uh, Jeremy? Underground on top. Underground on top. There we go. Sorry about that. But yeah, 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 you guys do the underground on top thing, but like, yeah, I don't see you feature much. What's going on with that? Do people not want to work with you? Are you outrighting people? And they're like, nah, we're not going to drop this song. Is that what's going on? No, man, it's kind of like, that's why I was laughing earlier about you guys getting shitty submissions for No Suck MCs, because I, I get dozens of shitty requests for collabs every day. <laughs> it hurts. From people who have like 10 SoundCloud listens, and they're like, yo, man, we got pretty much the same numbers, you know, like, I'm working at McDonald's right now, but in the next month, I'm going to blow, and then you'll regret not working with me, and I'm like, oh, okay, man. but. <laughs> like, it, it's like no business, it's like there's no that business. Should, that, that. That, should, that should be on a, the, the mantra of SoundCloud right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I work at McDonald's, You, I'm going to blow, though. 
and it's like yeah dude i swear <laughs> it's like what's crazy it's like it's that it's that attitude like i don't all right you work at mcdonald's you're putting out a project on there good for you you know i'm glad you're doing your thing you're working but like if you come with some sort of attitude like oh you're gonna regret not like there's humble exactly. yourself a little bit you know what i'm saying like it's a business at the end of the day so it's like humble exactly. yourself like talk to me like a businessman also you know what i'm saying like don't come at me like you're gonna change my life you know what i'm saying like it's a business exactly <laughs> and that's kind of the way i explain it. it's like dude i'm not gonna go to a doctor and ask him to give me a free checkup because <laughs> i'm gonna be a famous you're rapper you know what i mean like i mean this you're is right. like this is how i pay my bills and shit like <laughs> yeah, exactly that's how you eat like it's like you're, you're trying to take food from me like <laughs> No, I exactly, get it, man. I get it. No, it's fucking um, these kids are crazy. But uh, anyways, as far as the people I collab with, I actually, I'm really particular, <laughs> man. Like I collab with people that I'm personally a fan of, or mm. they helped me when I was first getting started. Playboy, I was listening to that guy when I first started rapping, and uh, Jeremy actually linked me up to him. Mm. I have all of his albums. I was like, I want to work with this guy. Um, a few other features I had were Cryptic Wisdom, yeah, which uh. Him and I work together a bunch. We uh, we text and talk a lot of the time and shit. We uh, we both work with his manager Jamie. Mm. Um, let's see. E the rapper actually was on my first first project. E. And, uh, <laughs> he's the man. Yeah, dude, man. E <laughs> that guy is the funniest motherfucker. He is fucking, he's <laughs> hilarious. His like his Facebook alone is just pure entertainment, man. He's the fucking. I man. know, dude. He's hilarious. That's why I had to get him on a serious song though, because I didn't know if he could do it or not. And yeah. then he did it. No, he can, like, yo, he shit. can rap. That's what people forget. Like he he got all that love that he gets now from his raps. Like he can rap. Yeah, he can, dude. And like. I, I always try to go with people that don't inspire me in like parts that I'm weak in. Like Playboy's really good at chopping. I'm not good at chopping, so I wanted to get a chopper on my track. That way, I could learn a little bit. Oh, he did his thing on that feature too. <laughs> yeah, dude, I told him he better, man. I hit him up. I was like, "You need to fucking kill this, dude." <laughs> and he's like, "I got you, man." <laughs> yeah, he did his thing. He blessed you. He he came with it. He came correct. But at least you know yeah. the, the the whole term blackout because some rappers are like, oh, yeah, this person blacked out. And in reality, they don't even know what that means. You know? <laughs> yeah. Or when yeah. somebody yeah. needs to track lyrical murder and then just doesn't do shit with it. <sighs> yeah, exactly. That's why I haven't collabed with the Joker yet, man. Oh, that man. Fucking guy. Oh, boy. That, that guy. Fucking guy. He, it's crazy because, like. He, his name gets mentioned amongst all of the underground, but it's never anything good. <laughs> it's always bad. <laughs> it's always Dude. bad. No, man, I paid the guy 600 bucks for a collab like two years ago, all right? <sighs> he promised a month turnaround. He has not sent it since. Oh, I just, I gave man. up like six months ago. Wait, I'm like, I'm pretty me. much as big as you now. Like, fuck excuse you. Excuse me. <laughs> like, Did you just I'm say a month turnaround? Yeah, you gave yeah, him a, a blessing. Yeah, a month turnaround, man. Uh, un unacceptable. Unacceptable. It's been two years. Unacceptable. Like, <laughs> like two fucking years. You know, the whole situation crazy? is That's, unacceptable. He's messing up his own yeah, business. He, you know what I'm saying? He's Because people... <laughs> I, that's not the first time I've heard something like that about him. So it's like, bro, you're killing your own business, dude. Like, you're killing your own I name. Don't work with him. <laughs> exactly, man. It's like, I don't know, dude. I'm just waiting until I get bigger because uh, right now I'm, like, getting closer to his size. I think another six months of a uh, linear trajectory, I'll be about the same level. Mm. But then when I get to his level, I'm going to drop a diss on him because yeah. so fuck that guy. Yes. Yeah. He love rap beef on wax. <laughs> <laughs> Call that shit two years later. <laughs> By then it'll be three and we'll be like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, He'll just be upset like, fuck, what, what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> no, that's dope, though. So um, you got any other uh, underground dudes you would want to work with? Like any like I, I see personally, I think I would I think I would like to hear you do a track with like flawless real talk. Yeah, that's actually really funny. You mentioned that, man. Uh, <laughs> I have three more names I want to work with in the underground, mm. and uh, he is one of them. He's he, uh, fire. Dude, since Don't Funk Up Our Beats, I heard him. Fact. And uh, I was like, I got to work with this guy. And we have right now, we have like the same level fan base across the board. So Yo, I'm you came up quick, man. He's been working at that for a minute. You came up quick. Like, you're doing really fucking good, man. Keep it up. Thank you. Oh, no doubt. Um, but uh, yeah, so, dude. yeah, who else is on that list? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Futuristic is on that list, man. Hey. I, uh, 
Bars. I, uh, Bars. So his producer hit me up. I'm sure you guys know AKT. Mm. Um, oh, yeah. So uh, he's flying me out to Arizona next month to go uh, do a video with him and a song with him. Um, and Fine. he's going to introduce me to Futuristic. And if things go well, I plan to work with that guy. Oh, man. Well, good luck with that. We hope that actually comes. I'm a, I'm a Futuristic fan myself, too. He's, he's the man. Dude, he oh, is so man. good. Yeah, he's fine. Um, the next one is, uh, I'd say Hobson, but I, he's not really underground anymore. He's yeah. just, you know what I mean? Um, someone else who's kind of underground, kind of towards mainstream a little bit is uh, Whit Lowry, actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, fucking love that guy, man. Yeah. I've been following him since I was like 15 years old. I uh, really want to work with him. Oh, that's fire. That's not that's not bad at all, man. That's, not, that's, that's a nice lineup. I think with each, you would make dope music so hey let's hope that happens man i hope that Put it out in the the universe. manifest it oh fact. yeah fact i'm gonna send some ghost messages to some people yeah dude <laughs> yeah, <me too. laughs> i got you bro anonymous accounts i got you uncle johnny <laughs> fact uncle johnny always coming in but um all right so let's 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 take this a little bit further let's get you gave us three underground let's get three mainstream dudes you would love to work with oh that's too easy man three mainstream mm-hmm. oh damn damn actually it's not easy i got to think of a billion <laughs> names um, i was about to say damn that's that easy <laughs> damn he's like oh. i've been thinking about this my whole life exactly <laughs> all right man i got him and one two and three man you ready yeah. in order in order, man. All right. Number one, hands down, is Eminem. He oh, is yeah. uh, he's Please. the fucking, I mean, he's the reason I'm doing this, man. Like, I heard the Eminem show when I was a kid, and I was like, I want to be like this guy when I grow up. Minus oh. Kim, minus the drugs. And, oh, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you, you, don't want, you don't want anybody, want, nobody wants anything to do with Kim. <laughs> <laughs> That's a and, fact. No, that, that should so be a position as well. No Kims forever. <laughs> The security guard doesn't even want nothing to do with Kim. Fuck that. <laughs> oh, man. That okay. Right there. <laughs> All right, um, two and three. Where they at? Yo, man, Sue is actually – it got replaced. I uh, My second one was going to be my third one. And then uh, – <laughs> or my – yeah, my third one was going to be my second one. But then I heard NF like a year ago. And the uh, He's the truth. Yeah. Dude, he is fucking he he is the standard. Like he set the bar for He's quality. The like, truth. His quality rock, is clean. Dude, you're his quality you're is welcome, Johnny. God, <laughs> yeah. Um Damn, dude. And uh, number three, <laughs> I gotta give it to my man Jay Z. Uh, that guy is Hey Hove. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> hey. Damn. Boom. Oh, the disrespect. Hey, my wow. man's. Green <laughs> check. You know what's better than a whole feature? Credit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Credit would be nice too, man, but let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. All right, All right. so we're going to flip. I'm the only, only Jay Z fan. Boom. Uh, damn, what? Boom. <laughs> Dude, did you guys even hear Blueprints? Come uh, on, actually, I, I was actually uh, I, I, was, I was old enough to appreciate yes. that at that age. Yes. <laughs> I'm 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 weird yeah. with Jay Z. I'm a diehard Nas fan, so it, if I say I like anything Jay Z, my skin starts to actually burn and smoke a little. <laughs> Your credit goes down. I, don't, I can't even look at him. I'm sorry. See, man, like he's a weird one because, like, I don't listen to his Norse shit. I'll be real. Like, ever since he dropped the, uh, I can't even say the full title, but the N words in Paris because you know I'm like a cream face color. Oh, that garbage wash the throne. <laughs> Garbage ass album. See, man, I, I I just can't fuck with his new shit. But I actually first heard him because Eminem was on a feature. Man, it sounds hella weird. I never gave him a chance. Renegade. I heard Renegade. Yeah. Oh, and, Eminem uh, snapped. Dude, they he both fucking him, wrecked him. Ate him. Yeah. Snap. Like, oh, yeah, Eminem ate him on that though. Oh, oh yeah. Soul snatched. Fuck, <laughs> oh, man. Like, yeah, man. So I, uh, I mean. Damn, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I miss that old M flow, man. That flow. Whew. He was Dude. sliding on Renegades, man. He was fucking phenomenal, man. Oh, yeah. That uh, verse is burned in my brain. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, what's up, man? What's the next question? Oh, yeah, I got So we're going to flip that question. So 
I'm going to see three producers that you would rock with mainstream. Like, well, known. You know what I'm saying? Because producers don't get that much love. They're technically yeah, you all. Be, like, you, you better put some oh, respect you, on man. some people's names, my friend. Nah, chill out. Um, <laughs> so uh, as far as I'm going to use this one a little bit differently. Um, a producer I want to work with, but mm-hmm. not because of his style necessarily, but because of how much, I guess, attention he has surrounding his name. Mm-hmm. Um, and it would fit the whole blue hair thing is uh, DJ Mustard. Okay. Because, uh, I mean, he's DJ Mustard, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that kind of goes into play with DJ Khaled, too. Um, oh, yeah, the GOAT. You'd be yeah, a summer dude, game. Fucking DJ Khaled. You had to hang out <laughs> with his kid. <laughs> Wait, Asa- for real? Actually, Asad's going to be co-producing your song. Fact. Yeah, dude. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Khaled. I've heard some studio stories that he's like a nightmare in the studio, but that is what it is. Really? Yeah, yeah. Apparently, like those takes that we think are like copied and pasted from sessions, he like takes like hours of studio time to record him saying like one or two lines. God damn. And he also, <laughs> apparently, he also gets like fresh water like constantly he, he'll he open it take a sip and need a whole new water after yeah, that's <laughs> it's real studio shit weirdest <laughs> dude if i did that my engineer would slap me like, back in there <laughs> <laughs> yeah apparently i heard it. he like barked at someone like yo i need a new water and they're like oh you just opened that and he like screamed on them for not getting him a fresh water but it is what it is I mean, <laughs> sometimes you have too much money you know he might he might have too much yeah, screw he too much money, too man. Much money. He might have too much money, really. He has too much money. <laughs> he's Dude, been honestly kid. to his defense though, he's been doing it for a long time and it took him a, a long time to actually like blow uh, up. So I'll give him I'll give him that. Get yo, get this in. This fucking 3-year-old kid is like on the Forbes list. Like that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> like Dude, I remember the day, dude, I remember the day he made the Instagram for Assad. I remember going to it and watching the numbers like spike. Oh yeah. I remember like seeing it like 100 followers and like seconds later it's like thousands. Tens of thousands, okay. hundreds of thousands. It got, like, it and he wild. runs both accounts, and he'll be commenting on his pictures <laughs> as Assad as, and yep. shit. It's so funny. Oh, he's a lunatic. But or anyways, not to take and his away wife from... hates him. <laughs> Dude, if you still follow him on Snap, it, like you're lucky it's enough hysterical. to get her yelling at him every it's once in a hysterical. while. It's pretty fantastic. But anyways, awesome. <laughs> but speaking of that, um, you wanted to work with a mustard. You think you could rock with that like new age trap shit? Honestly, man, I think I can do like, I mean, I, my song, my own lane was really similar to that. Um, mm. And uh, I always have a bunch of those, like, gay-ass trap choppy flows, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like, I just never do them because it's it's so different from my fan base. And w- even when I release my own lane, I tried adding elements to that. I got so much backlash from my older <laughs> fans who are used to that, like, really deep piano shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mean? Yeah, you I'm love like, that fuck. deep piano. You you rock with that. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I can't even lie. Like, half the time I'm talking to my producer, I'm like, he's like, so what do you want in this beat? I'm like, a deep piano. <laughs> it's like cowbell. More <laughs> piano. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I fuck with that. Hey, it sounds good. Like, you know what? You sound good all that. So fuck it, right? <laughs> something like that, man. I, th- I think I just listened to too much Adele growing up or something. <laughs> like, Hello. Dude, the piano is the, piano. It's the best the deep instrument, deep bro. Deep. The piano is the fucking best, man. That shit always sounds good. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. All yeah. right, so nothing wrong with that. So I know this uh, this project just came out. But um, what do you what do you have in the works now? Like, are you just going to get this in rotation? Are you going to play some shows and shit for it? Nah, man. Actually, I uh, I was just talking with my uh, my management about this. Um, mm. To be honest, dude, I think uh, I think this project needs to move on fairly quick. I uh, I'm gonna do some uh, videos and shit for more popular tracks on it, like Fake Friends, Confessions, mm-hmm. Lost in Time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and Fake Point Friends is my jam. Yeah, 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 dude. That's, I fucking love that song. Yeah, that's um, great. And uh, I'm going to point more people towards the project. Um, it did really well, but uh, I really I want to start working on the next one. I want to I want to really let people, I guess, know what I'm about and shit, because when I get my hair back to brown, 
Shit's <laughs> gonna go down, dude. It's gonna be crazy. Bars. Uh, yeah, it's the low key bars. Nah, I respect yeah. that though. No, but it's That's honestly like, it's a good setup. Like you, you, you definitely set it up for it to go back. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause fans are gonna fucking eat it up. I know I'm gonna be like, oh shit, it's ass brown. Now. So I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. You know, that's dope. Nah, okay. Um, so I'm uh, I'm like a super old head. I like to, I just like all aspects of hip hop. Like, you have any footage of like you playing live? How do you? How's your live game? You pull it off live or? Are uh, you yeah, also man. strictly so, in the studio shit? Let's talk about it. No, man. So, um, to be honest, dude, I am a firm believer in not having backtracks on the, on the majority of Preach my. Preach to uh, these young motherfuckers. Facts. Preach to them. Yeah, like. Down I don't know, the man. Backing track. If <laughs> like, you can't spit it in real life, don't do it. Dude, I, every single thing I do in the studio, I can rap in real life. The only, yes. the only you, exception you, you get is, your breathe on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, dude, I fucking everything I can do in the studio, I can do live. Like every day, man. I practice. Just before I came on here, I was practicing. I've been here for a few hours. I do it every single day, man. Mm. And like, uh, even like the really fast parts, dude. The only part I cannot do is obviously harmonies when I'm singing. I have to have a backtrack of like the higher pitch, and I'll do oh, lower yeah. pitch. That's uh, but that's acceptable. fine. Like unless you know, even if the whole song is that, if you know your range, singing you can get away with it as long as you're still singing on top of it. You can you be all right. Exactly, but rap, no, dude, rap. You need to be able to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. you need to be able to rap. Exactly. Facts. Keep it rap no, while rapping. Like, in the studio, man, like my uh, nickname over there is One Take because I literally do everything in one take. Rappers say practice. that. <laughs> I don't fucking believe them, man. Everything I do, I'm done recording in like 10 minutes flat. Like, yeah, I fucking love out, it. It's like, oh, yo, yo, that sounds good. Yeah, yeah. that sounds good. All right, I'm See, out. me, I, I respect that 100%. Like the One Take Drake shit, is, it's, it's a dope aspect to have. Me, I'm like on top of like my type of shit i like the whole not doing the one take because i like making the recording sound as not like me live as i can so live yeah, it's you. just i get lo- you know what i'm saying but like not for like the bad like i could pull it off but i don't want it to sound too because you ever see someone they sound just like the recording and you're not sure if you love it <laughs> yeah no, <I> feel <laughs> you know what i'm saying you're like uh, it's a little too much you want to see him like you want to see him breathe. You want to see him break sometimes. You want to see him get overexcited. Even if he f- practiced getting overexcited, it gets you amped. You know what I'm saying? But I respect it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. No, it's dope. It's a lost art, man. Like, you got to – it's your craft. These these young cats, they do the background track. They think they're all stars. And they think they're rock stars. They go up there and they fucking – they let the yeah, music do whatever yeah, and they jump yeah. around. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they yeah. they perform yeah. ad libs. It's backwards. <laughs> they perform the ad libs and let the raps, you know, rap on a track. It's just exactly, trash. Man. It's just like, trash. I'm really hoping, uh, this is a little bit off topic, but I'm really hoping I win this No Suck MC contest so I can go perform at uh, A3C, man, because. Hey. hey that didn't that shit aren't you, aren't now you? or something? Mm-hmm. What happened? The Suck MC contest got extended or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah, some yeah, kind yeah. of glitch. Yeah. Um, voting ends today, <laughs> actually. Um, Did you hit the, was it the 300, right? It was 300, Mark, right? Yeah, yeah, I hit. I am above that. I think I'm like three thirty right yeah. now. Thank God, dude. I was oh yeah, because you because you don't Twitter that much. You had to you had to get your Instagram as like, yo, come on, you need to come make that make that switch. Dude, exactly. Yeah, my freaking my Instagram is my or was my smallest. My Facebook's like a hundred thousand or something, dude. My Spotify <laughs> is like sixty. That's YouTube, crazy. Yeah. Like. But my Twitter, man, it was like 400 before this contest. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> like, it's rough. Damn. Twitter's yeah, but I, was, I get that. I was doing the voting thing. I got I got a couple of Twitters. So I was like, you know, I was getting my vote. Yeah, dude. I appreciate you, man. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> nah, but that's good, though. You made the mark, and that's dope. You still you still didn't tell me um, why Kato blocked us. Yo, <laughs> I was ask Kato. Squad. Do you, uh, I wanted to ask real quick too, man. Did mm-hmm. it, uh, like when you, like you say block, do you mean like when you search up his name, you can't find it or can't something? Find or like, no, no, can't find him. No, can't find a User not found. Yeah. For real? Oh, yeah. Factual he saving. blocked us, blocked us. <laughs> Dude, I promised you a while ago, man. If I win that contest, I'm going to ask him in person. I'm going to be in the studio and I'm going to look at him. He's going to be like, yo, is this snare song? I'm going to be like, turn that off, Kato. 
<laughs> I, <will work. laughs> I need to have a conversation with you. Yeah. <laughs> stop, stop all this music bullshit. Listen. Yeah, so, we because uh, we like just I I like didn't know at all, and then. I think it was someone else had a contest. They're like, oh, yeah, if you go to Kato's post and tag me. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go there with the page. And I'm like, can't find user. So what the fuck is going on? So I go on my I Instagram and I we see were still it. Little. Like, oh. Yeah, he definitely blocked us when we were. I mean, we're still little now. but um, we're, we're still little. We're yeah, still we're, little. When we were littler. We're still, <laughs> yeah, little. that's really weird. Um, I know for a fact, though, I uh, I know certain people manage his Instagram, so it might not have been Kato. It might have been his management group. Mm. But um, it's really weird. Like, I'll get random people block me for no reason. I think it's part of the algorithm or some shit, man. It's weird. Oh, maybe. Because, like, we get blocked a lot, and I get that. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> and I get that. But when I, cause I remember I asked him. I got to go on my message. I asked him, and he says something, but I don't remember, but. I was just like, come on. <laughs> Yo, man, if you can let me know because I need to ask the man. Yeah. It's a mystery. <laughs> At least he, hey, that means he saw us. You know what I'm saying? That's cool. Because he's like, um, he, like part of the, as far as the underground, he's a very, very, very known. You know what I'm saying? Like all underground rap. We know him. You know what I'm saying? So, exactly. He's hella good, man. Like, I, yeah, I can't wait fire. to work with him in person. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think, I mean, that competition, I, I watched a lot of. Unfortunately, I watched a lot of the submissions. <laughs> <laughs> you dude, know, so I you definitely watched, have a shot, dude. I've watched every single one multiple times, man. I, I, I think I'm like, I mean, I have some mental shit going on, but I think I'm like really obsessed with weird shit. But I've watched every single one, man. That's been <laughs> entered. Um, I actually just touched it up this morning. There was a couple more entries. There's uh, it's really weird because 95 percent of all of them suck, and I'm like, oh, they're trash. Yeah, I'm really honest with myself. I'm not the type that's like, oh, I'm better than this guy when really he's better than me. Like, if he's better than me, I'm like, fuck, man, I'm I'm done for. <laughs> like, um, I'm fixing to get cooked. Yeah, I'm fixing to get cooked, mom. <laughs> but like, there's a few people on there, man. I'm genuinely concerned about. There's uh, one guy I forget his name. To be honest, I, I, was, I was drinking a bunch when I did this. And uh, <laughs> his name, he I just remember he rapped really well. He wasn't crazy good. I think I'm a little bit better rapper on the technical side. Mm. But his singing was like some R&B funky type. Uh, shit. And I was like, damn, I can't compete with that. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. Oh, yeah. You he pulled out that weapon, that secret <laughs> weapon. That's like, shit. I'm like, exactly. yeah, smooth on. <laughs> Exactly. So, no, I get that. Yeah, you definitely, but like, you definitely have a very big shot because I listened to most of them and I was like, oh, it's one of those. Not good. Yeah. It's Dude, you, 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 you remember when you thought that you thought of that idea for us, like, you know, to do the freestyles and judge everybody? I would never oh, yeah. ever want to do that. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Dude, it's, gonna, it's gonna happen down the line once we hit like maybe a few more thousand followers. Oh yeah, I, I know. Dude, it's I'm putting it together, so be prepared. Uh, we got the trash one you know, boys safe out coming out. Dude, we would love that. We're I mean we're trying to we're trying to get these kids more involved because I feel like the like even though we like to bash people and get crazy, we still like I always reach out to the underground artists because like as far as I'm concerned, if we build an underground like army. We can we can put a dent to music to mainstream music, you know what I'm saying. So I think we work together. It's better, you know what I'm saying. It's better for just music in general, like hip hop in general. So exactly, yeah. No, I that's why like agree. I'm like, yeah, I reach out. My fault. I don't mean to cut you. Off. I mean like that's why I reach out to people. I want people to know. Like even though like if I didn't like your last project, like that don't mean I hate you. Like keep making music, bro. Like fuck, we give you criticism for a re- like like we want you to know. So I mean. Uh, that's what I like about you guys too, man. Is that uh, there's too many people that are just yes men. Like, mm-hmm. oh uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't like yes men. Like, out here, don't like my song, here. tell me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Very, yeah, exactly. That yes shit is man. toxic. Like, if your shit is just super trash across the board, but like your four homies are saying it's dope, you're about to get cooked when you put your shit out. Like, that's just terrible. Exactly, man. And uh, that's why I really like about you guys is like. You guys just don't shit on it either. You guys aren't like, this is shit. You guys tell what's wrong with it so we can improve next time. And that's really cool for, like, especially artists like me, man. Like, I'm always looking for improvement. I'm always looking for critique, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's only going to make you better. Like, even though, like, there's a thin line between, like, what you should change and what you shouldn't, it's still good to hear it sometimes because sometimes you hear it yourself and you don't want to admit it. You know what I'm saying? So it's, Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah. 
Oh, like yeah. I could tell, like <laughs> you mentioned that dude singing, and I know you post about it, but like you want your singing to be stepped up. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly, I know that's bro. something that's on your list, and that's, that's just how it works. That's the name of the game. Exactly, man. And like I don't know, I'm only 21. I've uh, I think as far as technical and sound and quality, Clean. I'm ahead of a lot of people my age. Clean. And, uh, Clean. Exactly, man. I got four or five more years, man, and that's what I'm excited for. I'm not excited for now. I'm excited for five years from now. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Dude, I, honestly, we're excited for it. Like that progress is very real, especially for how hungry you are and like how critical you are of yourself. Like it's going, it, it, it can only get better. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and you got plenty of time to hone your craft. Yeah, because you got yeah. you got what most people don't have as far as like the quality. You got that shit locked down. Like whatever you're doing in the booth is clean. So you got that better than most. Like your shit's radio ready. So now it's all about just bettering all the small things, like the little technicalities or like sometimes exactly. the harmony. Completing the project. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's, that's why when you I say that. critique about. <laughs> <laughs> it's tiny things. It's honestly, it's tiny things. It's the stuff that's going to drive you crazy when you're listening to your stuff back. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the stuff that you're like, oh, I got to go into the studio just to change up one little thing or this and that. Like, that's the shit that's going to take you the next level. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah. Um, That's why we know you're gonna give us a you're gonna give us an eight and up project real soon. So I'm not I'm not worried about it. Dude, my next song. I wanted to ask you guys. I've been working on this song, man, and uh, it is my favorite song I have ever made in my oh. life. And I don't I don't use that lightly. I've been working on this for three months now. Shit. Um, and I, uh, I mean, a few hours a day for three months. That shit adds up a lot. Um. Do you guys review singles by any chance? We no. we're we're working on a format to like implement it. So we have like people send us some singles. We have some singles in a couple. We want to, but I mean honestly, if you're planning on dropping this like in the future or whatever, I would definitely I would shoot it our way. Like we could use yours as the format builder. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's why I was saying, if you guys don't, I, even if you guys aren't going to release it to the public, I still want to send it to you guys and get your opinion because of I took course. Oh, of your absolutely. And, uh, oh, we can do that. Of oh, yeah. course. That's, that's light work. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Dude. we'll definitely check it out. I would just like to use it, like, if we're going to do our first official single review i would love to use yours as an example dude like underground represents the underground dude like it is what it is oh yeah i'll have it done tomorrow so i'll uh i'll shoot it you guys his way oh yeah we'll 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 send you just one emoji as the answer <laughs> dude i'll take you man you're gonna send me like an anchor or some shit i'll be like what does that mean <laughs> <laughs> No nah, yeah. man, but that's dope though. So, um, outside of like you said, you you're gonna start working on some new music. What's what's new? Like, what's next for you? What's what's the next step that you really want to start working on? In terms of music or business, all of it. What are you, what's your plans? Yeah. What's what we got for Nathan? All of it. Um, so uh, because of legal issues, I uh, I can't talk about some of mm-hmm. it, but it's heading in the direction of labels and. Uh, a lot of exposure, which I'm really excited about. Oh, big moves, big moves. Um, I hope it really goes through. Dude, big I'm things. praying on it, man. Because if it does, all of a sudden those features with Whit Lowry and Hobson and like could that happen. shit could happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, as far as music goes, I uh, I'm I don't know, man. Like I'm gonna start being me. Like last year, I was going through the whole. I want to be like this person, but nah, I don't want to be in that person. I think you guys actually even mentioned that in my review yeah. of the EP, and that's exactly what was going on. Mm. Um, and I think after my own lane, I finally kind of have a direction to where I'm going. The next few singles I'm going to release are uh, going to be really passionate, really heartfelt. The next single I release is going to be something just fucking weird. Like, I'm just going to release what I want to release, you know? Okay, yeah, it's it's your music now. You got the people following you now. You just hope that they stick around and see whatever you got next is what you want to put out. So that's dope. Okay, yeah. well, just just know that hey, we're gonna be we're gonna be rooting for you. We want you to fucking we want you to do big things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I appreciate you guys, man. I I uh, hope you guys out in any way I can too. Oh, dude, so we really appreciate that, man. Because we're we're just we got the machine running. We got our systems and stuff. 
But now, now it's time for us to start playing the business game. And the business game is rough, man. I got a baby. I do my own music. It's rough out here in these streets. <laughs> yeah, man. It's it's something, dude. But uh, oh, if you guys yeah. ever need any help, man, I uh, I can definitely oh, do my best, you know? Oh, dude. Yeah, no doubt, man. You know for sure, man. I, I'll hit you up, man. You got me. I'm within arm's reach. So that's for sure. But um, other than that, man... We don't want to keep you too long. I know you wanted to do. You had some has some stuff to go through later. Um, you want to plug anything, man? Plug your pages. Give that drop for the album and all that. Yeah, man. Um, yo, hey, before I do any of that though, dude, yo, thank you for talking to me, guys. I uh, actually, my homie uh, Loose Logic hit me up about you guys a while ago. Loose, and I've been wanting to talk to homie. Loose. Yes. Loose Logic, he's another one I, uh, I've i been meaning to collab with for a while. He inspired me a lot coming up. <laughs> he's fire, um, man. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, as far as my pages, since NK47 is a pretty, pretty uh, scarce <laughs> name, you can just pretty much type in NK47 anywhere and, I mean, it'll pop up. <laughs> it'll be like, I think You'll find me. Social- What's up? I said Better, you can yeah. find you. They'll find you. Yeah, yeah it's on dude, all I social mean, media. It's a weird ass name, man. Like it works. <laughs> it does. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, I really appreciate talking to you guys, dude. We, we appreciate, appreciate you. you chatting up with us, man. We really do. Yep. Hell yeah, yo! I want to take sure... a screenshot of this real quick so I can put it on my Instagram. One sec. Oh yeah, do it up. We're gonna do that. Hey yes. man, all of it, all of it. I love that, dude. Man, again, we really appreciate it, man. I'll let you know when this drops and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, man, dude, my own lane for anybody listening. Check that shit out, man. It's got the blue hair and the blue eye with the orange background. Well, the yellow background. The yellow background. It's definitely the yellow background. That's my guy. All right, dude. I'll see you right, later. Man. I'll hit you up with that new song tomorrow. I can't wait to see what you guys think. Oh, no doubt, man. No doubt, man. Have a good one, man. Peace. You too. Oh, thank God. Uh... Yeah, I don't really wanna pretend like I have been in a position where these people wanna buy Everything I made, everything they wanna sign You been looking at me like I really wanna fight Why you looking at me like I really wanna buy I don't think you're really gonna understand that you will die Why you looking at me like I really wanna die Why you looking at me like I really wanna die Fuck that flow Yeah, let me slow this down Life's like a merry-go-round I made this image to make a difference The hair is a clown These motherfuckers sell their souls for fame and some clout Nathan, no hating allowed I feel like I'm talking to myself a lot I understand if you don't like me and it's not a problem Fuck everybody that pulls the way up to the top I'm never stopping this, I'm promising I'll never stop I feel like I wanna make a change now I don't care about saving face now But I'm the same thing